start for a cup of coffee. Mohammed was on the verge of his adult life in Damascus. With a degree in engineering, he was poised to start a new job. But he feared he would be arrested like his cousin after they both went to an opposition demonstration. Mohammed fled. He now has an internship with a Swedish company and takes Swedish language classes in the evening. Yeah, we have to start from the scratch again yeah, to learn a new language to adapt to new society, new country, new laws. Mohammed is just one of thousands of Syrians who fled to Sweden. The country has a long history of accepting immigrants, an open arms policy. Many Syrians end up in Södertälje, just south of Stockholm. Now, of 90,000 citizens, 30,000 are immigrants, and that puts additional strains on local services. We don't have enough housing. That's the big problem, I would say, for the refugees. Uh, they all stay with relatives. The bell rings for a successful deal at a call centre. The European Union-funded project provides training and jobs for immigrants. Down the hall, there's a class for gardeners with lessons on how to keep accounts and pay taxes. Okay, just give it again. Schools have had to hire extra counselors to cope with the growing number of children traumatized by war or the hellish journey to escape it. Of the 800 students at the Rona school, 99% have an immigrant background. It is schools like this that fuel support for the Swedish Democratic Party. They hold 20 of Parliament's 349 seats and they are unabashedly anti-immigrant. We want to lower immigration to Sweden with at least 90%. So that's a big change. People coming from Syria, they get uh, permanent residency here automatically, which is extremely irresponsible. Support for restrictions on immigration is growing. And Sverigedemokraterna, the Swedish Democratic Party, wants to stop this open arms policy. And more and more people are joining them, and they hope to increase their share of the votes in the national elections coming up in the autumn. Linda Nyberg, Al Jazeera, Södertälje.